We're counting down the anime we're most excited to see arrive next year. これを今日の昼飯にしてみよう。やだー。Number ten, done to done. You aren't ready. From the mind of the mad lad who served as assistant to the other mad lad who made Chainsaw Man, paired with Science Saru and their gorgeous animation, this adaptation dares to ask the age-old question: What if aliens and ghosts both existed? The answer: chaos of every kind, featuring a pair of students caught up in the middle who couldn't be on further ends of the popularity spectrum. Get ready for an orthodox action, one hell of a power couple, and the kind of vulgar humor that will have you laughing at the sheer ridiculousness of it all. <laughs> Number nine: Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba Hashira Training Arc. While it was certainly a lot of fun, many are in agreement that the Swordsmith Village arc was a bit of a backstep for Demon Slayer as far as storytelling goes. <laughs> Given what we've heard on the grapevine, this next arc should have no such issue. With Nezuko now in Muzan's crosshairs, Tanjiro and the gang are going to have to level up. Which means we're gonna see the rest of the Hashira get a shine as they take them under their wing. Which suits us just fine because it's been too long since we've seen Shinobu's butterfly brand of seduction, along with the best aquatic moody boy, Gyu. Number eight, solo leveling. <laughs> For those of you not in the know, this is an adaptation of the ultimate manhwa and power fantasy, where the weakest person in the world, full of hunters with abilities straight out of a modern game, finds himself getting quite the do-over. The premise may sound basic as can be, but where the source material excelled was in its blistering battles and exceptional artistry. So if A1 Pictures can translate it onto screen, then we're in for one hell of a ride. Seriously, if they pull this off, then it's going to make the word "arise" become a phrase burned into the anime mainstream membrane. <laughs> Number seven, My Hero Academia season seven. You could make the argument that Deku was in a bit of a lull on account that season five only really hit its stride with the My Villain Academia segment, but then season six came back with a vengeance and totally shook things up. Now we are all too ready to see what next year's follow-up has in store. Deku now finds himself partnered up with America's greatest hero, Star and Stripe. A new muscle mummy waifu and more fights against All for One. Yes, please. Number six, Bleach: Thousand Year Blood War: The Conflict. The war with the Quincy continues, and things are only getting crazier. In what is shaping up to be quite the bloody penultimate act, this third arc of Bleach's last season will see Ichigo and the surviving Shinigami press onwards to tackle Yuhabak and his stern Rita forces. While Squad Zero seemingly have the King of Quincy's on the ropes, we all know that it's only a matter of time before he turns the table. Royal Rumble in the Royal Palace. Let's go. Number five, Oshinoko Season Two. A hell of a lot of anime made a big splash this year, but when it comes to original properties, few had the kind of impact the Oshino coded.
An idle anime mixed with a murder mystery, mixed with a pseudo isekai, mixed with a romantic comedy, mixed with a satirical commentary about the dark side of the entertainment industry. Yes, it's a lot, and yet this series balanced it perfectly. <laughs> Needless to say, we are very excited to see how B. Komachi continue to battle to become a powerhouse idol group, as well as see Aqua tackle the horror that is a 2.5D stage play. Number 4. One Punch Man Season 3 We've waited and waited, but now it seems that the time has finally come for Saitama's grand return. <laughs> Can it live up to the monumental impact left by its incredible first season? Potentially. All we know is that we're finally going to see Saitama and Garo fight for real, and it has been a long time coming. The strongest hero of them all against the hunter of heroes whose sense of justice isn't exactly without merit. Let's hope they nail it, otherwise at this rate, the manga will be complete long before the anime catches up. And this is One Punch Man we're talking about, that's saying something. <laughs> Number 3. Delicious in Dungeon There are as many anime about delving into dungeons as there are isekai, aka a lot. So what sets this one apart? That would be this traditional fantasy's hilarious premise, since the main objective of this band of adventurers, while somewhat tied into an overarching plot about saving one of their own, is mainly focused on one thing and one thing only, turning the monsters they encounter into delicious meals. <laughs> Yes, it's a fantasy cooking series, and if you are aware of the source material, you know the food looks incredible. You'll never look at a dragon the same way again. Number 2. Kaiju Number 8 About time this monster mash got its time to shine. In a world where humanity has specialized units for bringing down giant monsters, our main man, Kafka, is stuck on cleanup duty and afraid life is passing him by. At least until he finds himself turned into a kaiju hybrid by mistake. Not only does this put him in the crosshairs of the anti-kaiju defense force, but chooses to use his smaller yet destructive form to take out his new monstrous brethren in an effort to do good. It's an underdog story that promises huge battles, huge hearts, and the possibility of a new contender for the shonen crown. Before we unveil our number one pick, here's some honorable mentions. Tower of God Season 2. That time I got reincarnated as a slime Season 3. Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world Season 3. Laid Back Camp Season 3. Mashal, Magic and Muscles Season 2. Classroom of the Elite Season 3. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dragon Ball Daima No, this is not a remake of GT. Calm down. So, 
But yes, we are seeing the return of young Goku in the newest Dragon Ball series since Super, and we could not be more excited. What's it about? Why take the risk of de-aging the cast? We don't know, but you can bet your tails we're intrigued. It's meant to celebrate 40 years of all things Dragon Ball, and since Toriyama is intrinsically involved, we have faith that at the very least, this is gonna be all kinds of entertaining. Maybe this is GT as it should have been. Make it happen, Shenron. Which upcoming anime are you most hyped about? Let us know in those comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.